there is one outcome out of the four possible outcomes that correspond to having no boys. For no boys, there is one outcome out of the four possible outcomes. Numerically, the probability is 0.25. For having one boy, two outcomes out of the four possible outcomes, which is one half. Numerically, the answer is 0.5. Having two boys, there is one outcome out of the four possible outcomes, which we've seen is 0.25 numerically. And having at least one boy, there are three possible outcomes out of the four outcomes. probability is 0.75. When you roll a die, what's the probability that the die lands on a first question is a five, second, number less than a five, third, number more than a five, fourth, a number that's at least five, and the fifth question is an odd number. Remember, the list of possible outcomes is the one through six. There are six outcomes possible when you roll a die. So the event of rolling the 5, remember, there's one outcome associated with rolling the 5. So then we could determine the probability. A number less than a 5. Remember, there were four outcomes associated with rolling the number that was less than 5. And a number more than 5, there was one outcome associated with being more than 5. a number that's at least five. Two outcomes associated with being at least five. And an odd number, there were three outcomes associated with being odd. We can determine the probability. When you roll a die, there is the one outcome out of the six possible outcomes that consists of rolling a five. If you approximate this answer to the, to the nearest thousandths, the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, the second six is in the thousandths position. If we look at the digit to the right, which is another six, 
that means we add 1 to the second 6. So the answer is going to be approximately 0.167. Less than a 5. There are four outcomes out of the six possible outcomes, which reduces to two-thirds as a fraction. If we approximate this number to the nearest thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, it's the third six, we look to the right, there is another 6. We add 1 to the third 6 for an answer of 0.667. There is only one outcome that's more than 5 out of the 6 possible outcomes. Approximated to the nearest thousandths, again this is 0.167. There are two outcomes out of the six possible outcomes that correspond to the event of being at least a 5. This reduces to one third. We approximate this answer to the nearest thousandths. The third 3 is in the thousands position. We look to the right, and it's a 3. That means we do not add 1 to the third 3. So the answer is approximately 0.333. There are three outcomes out of the six possible outcomes that correspond to the event of rolling an odd number. This reduces to one half, which we have seen is 0 0.5 numerically. Picking a card from a standard deck, assuming again ace is low, what's the probability that you pick a card that is a, first question, ace, second question spade, 